What is good guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Justin and you're here with Justin. So in today's video, I've had a lot of you guys ask me and that is how do I properly shower with a new tattoo? Now I'm going to be going over all the things that you need to watch out for, the proper steps you need to take from day one leading all the way up about the two week mark when it is fully healed. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome in this channel we pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related my experience and opinions on certain topics but most importantly my journey towards getting my tattoos and working towards a bodysuit now i got some great news i got a new tattoo booked it's planned for very soon you don't want to miss that tattoo it's going to be awesome like all my other ones so go subscribe so you don't miss any other future content but let's get to today's video let's go Showering shouldn't be a painful or long process. It shouldn't be stressful, but if you follow these processes and these steps, you should have no problem in healing your tattoo and it being the best possible product that it could possibly be. So there are two things that you need to watch out for when you have a fresh new tattoo. The first one is the sun. You gotta watch out for him. That will destroy your tattoo. And the second one is no soaking. This is a big one, and this is one that you really gotta watch out for because people don't think about it. So that means no swimming, no pools in general, no going to the ocean, to the lakes, no jacuzzis, and definitely no baths for two to three weeks before your tattoo is healed. Now, I am not saying you cannot get your tattoo wet, but what I am saying is no soaking for long periods of time. So right after your tattoo appointment is finished, I would recommend you talk to your artist and ask him when he recommends to wash the tattoo. It can range from two hours all the way up to 12 hours. Usually the good spot is around two to four hours. They would recommend to go home and wash it. Once you are home, you are definitely gonna wanna take off that plastic that is given to protect the tattoo and then proceed to go into the shower and wash it. Now, you don't have to do the shower per se. You can wash it beside a sink, but you know, sometimes it is best to get into the shower depending on how big the tattoo is and you know the placement of the tattoo. So if your artist did use Sanoderm or some kind of second skin, you do not have to worry about the timing of a shower. You can go into a shower right away because these products are waterproof. Now I'm not saying to go and start soaking it. Don't go and swim with it because you know, stuff can still get through, seep through, and that's the last thing you wanna do. But showers for like, you know, five, 10 minute showers are fine. You don't have to worry that much. The first thing that you guys wanna do before is turn the water on and make sure that it is at the correct temperature before getting in. You wanna make sure that it is at either cold to lukewarm. And what I recommend best is to let it run for a bit, put your hand under, make sure that is the correct temperature before stepping in. What I wanna also mention is you wanna avoid hot showers. Your skin is super sensitive after the tattoo and you know, a hot shower with the hot water can really hurt that sensitive area. Also, you know, with hot water, it creates steam as well. It'll create a hot environment. It leads to your pores opening which then can lead to ink possibly seeping out and fading or patchy work. So you don't want all that. You want to avoid hot showers in general. You want to keep it to cold, to lukewarm, and you want to keep these shower sessions short. So now that you have the right temperature of the water, you step into the shower. The one thing you want to do is make sure that the stream from the shower head is not hitting your tattoo. You want to kind of step away from that. What you want to do now is cup your hand and then say I have the tattoo on my shoulder or arm. I'm going to want to cut my hand, have the water fall into that cup and then gently splash it onto the area. And while I'm doing this, I'm letting gravity do its work of having the water run down, pulling any dirt, plasma, you know, dried blood along with it. So now that you have the tattoo area wet, the next thing you want to do is grab a soap. I recommend you grab a fragrance free antibacterial soap. Now this can be a bar, it can be a foam dispenser one, it doesn't matter. All you wanna do is make sure that it is fragrance-free antibacterial. You wanna make sure it's lathered up in your hands and then apply it to the tattoo area. The one thing I will recommend and then you should definitely do is use your hands when cleaning the tattoo. The one thing you wanna watch out for and do not use is either a washcloth or a loofah. They hoard bacteria, somebody else could have used it and also they can be super abrasive to the skin and you know, they can definitely lead to damaging skin. 
of a new tattoo. So definitely watch out for those. Don't use them. Stay away from that and just use your hands. So you're in the shower and you're washing your tattoo and you're probably asking yourself and you're probably asking me, Justin, can I continue to wash my body? And what I would recommend you do is, yeah, you can definitely wash yourself, but make sure you wash yourself first before the tattoo if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna kind of uh, combine the two. Just because if you shower your tattoo first and then you shower the rest of your body, you can run the chances of anything of debris, bacteria running down your body and then sitting on that tattooed area. Whereas if you wash your body first while keeping your body part that is tattooed, say my arm, out of the direct stream so I'm not really getting this wet until I have to clean it. If you keep that out and then wash at the end, no bacteria is already washed onto it and then whatever you wash off will be clean. It'll be nice and fresh so you don't have to worry about any of that. You want as little water on this, you want as little soap on it and you want to be in it as little as possible because steam can build up too. And with all these, an excess can actually ruin the tattoo in the long run because, you know, your pores can open from the hotness of the steam. The water itself can just drain or suck some of the ink out. And then excess, you know, soap can dry the skin out. Kind of go in, wash the tattoo, and then get the hell out. So once you guys hop out of the shower and you guys are finally finished washing your tattoo, what you're going to want to do next is dry the tattoo. What I recommend you guys don't do is use a towel to dry the tattooed area just because towels can hold germs, bacteria, and you don't want that. You can use the towel to dry the rest of your body. That's totally fine and that's what I do too. But for the tattooed area, I like to grab paper towels that are brand new and then just go over and dab it. You don't want to stroke it down. You don't want to like, you know, really scratch it you just kind of want to dab it lightly and the paper towel will suck up any moisture that is on the skin and then that tattooed area next what i like to do is i like to grab healing ointment and you want to apply it to the tattooed area now the trick that i like to use is i like to uh, put a decent amount i don't like to put too much but i like to put a decent amount and rub it into the skin nicely and have the skin absorb it as much as i can I like to wait about 20 to 60 seconds. And once that time is over, I like to go over with another paper towel and then gently pat it off. The paper towel will grab any excess ointment. You'll be left with just a nice, clear, thin layer of healing ointment. And what that healing ointment does is it acts as another protective layer against the outside world and also helps nourish and moisturize your skin after about a week you can start taking longer showers you can have water hit it a bit more and then after about two to three weeks when the tattoo is fully healed from peeling flaking scabbing that is when you can finally follow your regular shower routine again and not really worry about you know it fading it uh, ink seeping out or anything like that because by then the tattoo will be fully healed with the new skin over it remember aftercare is the biggest part of a tattoo and it's all on you. So you gotta make sure you take these steps, but they are easy. And as long as you are following them, there is no reason why your tattoo shouldn't heal perfectly. So guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. If I said some stuff that resonated with you and what if you use the same kind of uh, technique methods, comment if I did miss anything. I love hearing the comments. I love to com uh, communicate with you guys, have conversations. Also, I like that information to be in the conversation for other people to go see and read and maybe they can learn some stuff from it too. And then finally, go subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Remember, I have that tattoo coming soon. You don't wanna miss it. So go subscribe, join the community. I love seeing it growing. And then finally, I just wanna say thank you so much for your time, for watching the video. Until next time, Justin out. Later guys.